This here is the electromagnetic spectrum that I'm drawing. This part of the electromagnetic spectrum is where you find the longest wavelengths. This is where you find the radio waves. And as you decrease the wavelength, you're going to find microwaves. And when you decrease the wavelength even further, you're going to find the infrared waves. And as you shorten the wavelengths further, you're going to find the visible light, the ultraviolet radiation, then the X-rays, and then the gamma radiation. The radio waves have the longest wavelengths. And the gamma rays, they have the shortest wavelengths, as you can see here. So gamma rays have the shortest wavelengths, and radio waves have the longest wavelengths. So as you move down the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to gamma rays, you're going to decrease the wavelength. And as you decrease the wavelength, you're going to increase the frequency. So as you decrease the wavelength, you increase the frequency. Radio waves are used to transmit radio signals. Microwaves are used in satellite communications, as well as cooking by using microwaves in the kitchen. One of the uses of infrared radiation is going to be in heaters. So you can have infrared heaters in the house. We use visible light to see, but visible light is also used in other uses. We use ultraviolet light in many different ways, but one of the main uses of ultraviolet light is to check for forged banknotes. X-rays are used in hospitals to determine whether bones are broken, and gamma rays are used in hospitals too for radiotherapy, which is to treat cancer patients.